I think the main thing that was uh, evident from the session is that myeloma therapy nowadays is moving forward very fast. And not just fast, but very effective. So the newer treatments that we have and are upcoming in the next couple of years uh, will enable m most of the myeloma patients to get into very deep remissions and prolonged remissions a long time, whether they get it in earlier therapies or in late therapies. And even if they have a very advanced disease, they still have a lot of hope in terms of uh, very effective therapies coming already available and coming up. So in myeloma, I think the most important things is the, the most important or, or most interesting things are the immunotherapy. The availability of immunotherapy is to overcome even resistance in cells or to overcome the fact that the disease is very aggressive, even though this uh, uh, happens in many patients, the immunotherapy is available to give response even to very advanced patients. And this is right both for myeloma and AL amyloidosis therapy. In AL amyloidosis, um, these patients are more frail, and therefore the question is whether they'll be able to enter the side effects of the newer therapy. However, as most side effects are very much controlled, and we learn nowadays how to control them. Um, I think that even in AL amyloidosis, will benefit, these patients will benefit from the most advanced therapies as well.